I'm Charlie from CookingSecretsForMen.com. Well, as some of you may know, I recently came back from Italy. Um, had a great trip there. Um, and one of the things that I was uh, very interested in was a risotto, which I had the opportunity to order at two different places. Specifically, um, today we're going to talk about mushroom risotto. Um, what was interesting to me was that the risotto in both restaurants was cooked al dente, meaning it had a little crunch in the middle. Um, Americans are used to creamy risotto, so I wanted to understand how it was made in an authentic manner. Um, so, as I usually do, I asked the chef at one of the restaurants how he cooked it and how the risotto was al dente. Uh, he said he didn't do anything different from uh, the recipes other than use less stock. Um, and he used a mushroom stock instead of chicken stock to enhance the mushroom risotto flavor. Um, so I had this uh, mushroom risotto at Sud Vino e Cucina, uh, which translates to, in English, uh, to South. Sud is South, Vino Vine, and Cucina is Kitchen. Uh, Sud Vino e Cucina. It's near the Piazza del Popolo in Roma, uh, which is actually the largest square in Rome, which I was not aware of. Um, it's about a 10 minute walk from the Piazza di Spagna, where the Spanish Steps are located, which many people do know in Rome. I'll also soon be doing a video featuring seafood risotto that I had at the Hotel Minerva in Sorrento. Um, both risottos had the same characteristics. That the rice was cooked al dente and they both had a rich flavorful taste because of the different respective stocks that were used. So mushroom stock for the mushroom risotto and seafood stock for the seafood risotto. So here is my recreation of mushroom risotto, risotto ai fungi in Italian. Um, from Su Vino e Cucina in Rome, Italy. All right, so we're going to get started with our mushroom risotto. Uh, first thing we're going to do is um, get some mushrooms going uh, that are going to go in at the end. And then we're also going to heat our mushroom broth. So mushroom broth here, this is four cups. It's going to go in to this pan back here where it's going to just stay on warm. All right, we want to heat it so when you're adding the broth to the, um, to the rice, you're getting a warm. So another thing that we're going to add back here, this is a combination of oyster, portobello, and um, cremini mushrooms. We're going to put those in, turn this in uh, to the broth and we're going to um, we're going to scoop them out at the end. We're not going to use those. What we are going to use are these mushrooms. So these are sliced thinly and they're going to go in and this is butter and oil and this butter and oil along with the mushrooms they're going to cook on a, a low simmer for probably close to 20 minutes. So we're going to cover this. We're going to let this simmer and then we're going to move over here and start on the risotto. We're going to start the risotto in here. Um, we're going to put a little salt, pepper, garlic on the mushrooms. Just a little bit because we'll get some during the cooking. So we have some oil heating a tablespoon or so. This is one shallot chopped and one of the things you want to do is you want to make sure that they're um, uh, cut small enough so that when you add them to the pot uh, to the rice uh, they don't overtake the rice that they're the same size or smaller. So this goes in. Let's throw these around a little bit. So you cut them down. So this is the sofrito. The sofrito is the first base of flavors for the risotto. We're trying to make sure that there's no large pieces and that we do get a little bit of, um, we don't want it to be caramelized per se, just want it to soften for about one to two minutes. All right, the next thing that we do is we're going to add the rice. So this is one cup of aborio rice. This is what you want to use, short grain rice. Um, and this is the part of risotto called los tastora, which means roasting. 
So we're going to roast these. Get them nice and covered. Give it just another bit of the flavor. So we're going to make sure we're not burning them, but we want to make sure that they do get nice and covered along with the shallots. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our wine. And this is a technique called uh, lo sfumato, which means to smoke or to make steam in Italian. This is a half cup of Josh's wine, whatever Josh is. And you see there's a little steam coming off of there as the wine deglazes the pan. That's exactly what we want. So the wine will, the rice will absorb the wine, it'll cook down, and it'll cook the alcohol out. All right, uh, la cottura is the word for baking in Italian. So this is the actual cooking of the risotto. So we're going to slowly add liquid to the pan, about half a cup. We continue to stir as we add. Put this on medium low. We don't want it on high, so we want it to burn. We want the rice to keep absorbing the liquid. So we're going to continue this until we have all of the um, to the rice's al dente and all of the stock has been used. All right. One thing I should mention is that you want to. Um, continue to stir. Frequent stirring will make sure the rice is cooked evenly. But if you over stir it, it'll add too much air and then the rice will cool and then you got bad risotto. Alright, we're about halfway through. I'm going to add a little salt and pepper just because it's absorbing and it's giving off um, some of the gluten. I guess that's what that is. Um, and it's becoming creamy. We haven't even put any cheese in or butter in yet. So, put another ladle full. The stock is simmering nicely. Very flavorful. Continue to stir and we'll be back. Alright, I think we're just about where we need to be with this. A little taste that taste. Yeah, maybe another minute. You can taste that mushroom flavor from the broth. Add a little bit more. I think we're we're gonna keep the broth handy just in case gets a little too dry after we add in the cheese and the butter. And you can tell it's absorbing everything in there. And the next phase that we go to, uh, even if you don't speak Italian, you can probably guess what this is, that il riposo uh, means to repose or to rest. So we take it off the heat and we cover it, let it sit for two minutes, let it cool, and then we put in our fatty stuff, butter, cheese, and then the mushrooms from here. Alright, so we took it off the uh, fire and we've got it here resting. We're going to take about one to two minutes, we're going to cover it. And after that, we're going to add in butter, cheese, and these mushrooms. Alright, so we've let it rest. It's still see, steaming. So the final step in making risotto is called la manticatura, which means creaming. Italian. And this is obviously the best part because we add in all the good stuff. So, this is about four tablespoons of butter. These are our mushrooms that also have butter in them. Put those in. Alright. Give this a stir. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -mm. Of course, we need salt and pepper. Haven't really put any in. All right. that, um, if we do need more um, broth, there's heating broth behind it in case it gets a little too dry. And it probably won't until I put in the cheese. All right. So now the Parmigiano Reggiano, about three quarters of a cup. Let's put that in a little at a time. This is the creaming part. So if it is too thick, add a little broth. Um, and I think we're looking cool. The Parmesan obviously is a little salty. So. So it's served, or they served it in Italy in a, not in a bowl, but kind of in a plate that has a, a raised rim. Um, so it kind of sits more um, as one layer. Let's give it a little taste to see what we think. Give it a little more farm. I guess we'll get ready to serve it. So we'll be right back. Well, <laughs> I don't have a taste, but it sure smells good. But then again, butter, Parmesan, onions, garlic, a whole shoot and match. I mean, hard not to like. So here we go. This is mushroom risotto. Uh, thanks to Chef Michel from Sud Vino in Cucina in Roma, Italy. Um, the Piazza del de Popolo, if you happen to be there. All right, let's give this bad boy a taste. Got some chives on there too, just a little garnish. Mm. So it definitely has uh, this al dente, which is what I was going for. Um, got a great mushroom taste because we added mushroom broth and then we added mushrooms in. Um, and it's served, as you can see, on a in kind of a flatter um, uh, bowl. If I had a, a wider one that was flat, that would be how it was served to me. Um, but this works fine. You don't want it to uh, pile up. You want it to sit on it. We get a little mushroom here. Mm. Wow. Well, okay, I'm happy with this. Um, I set out to make al dente uh, risotto. This is mushroom risotto. Um, I'm going to be doing a seafood risotto soon enough, but uh, I'm going to enjoy this one first. So, um, unfortunately, I'm not Tom Garvey, so I'm not sitting here with the, the bottle of Chianti. I have to get one, so I don't have to keep putting his mug up on the uh, screen after we do these Italian videos. So, more Italian recreations of what I learned in Italy. Um, I've, I really enjoyed learning about how to make risotto the way it's made in Italy. Um, the fact that it's al dente as opposed to nice and creamy, um, I found very interesting. And I think it's probably um, a nicer way to eat it instead of having it be all mushy and creamy. So, um, thank you, Chef. So, and thank you, everybody. Appreciate you watching as I um, self-indulge in uh, my trip to Italy, which I really loved. Um, thanks so much for watching. Appreciate all your support. See you next time. Arrivederci, ciao, tutti.